Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome back to another video. My name is Wairi and in today's video, it's all about the beauty of Jensen sunscreen. If you're curious about this sunscreen and you wanna know if they're worth getting, then this is the video for you. In my hand, I have the Relief Sun Rice Plus Probiotic Sunscreen with SPF 50. And I also have their new, new, their new sunscreen, which is the Relief Sun Aqua Fresh rice plus b5 sunscreen so if you're curious about these sunscreen you want to know whether they're worth getting then keep on watching this video however if you're not subscribed to my channel this will be a perfect time for you to hit the subscribe button turn on the notification bell so you get notified every time i post a new video and i will see you in my next one so to get started i'm going to be sharing the relief sun rice and probiotic sunscreen that has spf 50 in it this was viral all over social media everybody was raving about it it has rice and probiotics in it and it has such a nice rich creamy texture and it's really good for dry to combination skin and it has such a nice natural to dewy finish so if so this is something that you're interested in this is definitely a sunscreen that you should check out now if you are a person of color and you have a darker complexion than I am it does have a blue tone which can show up and a lot of people have mentioned that it shows up more when you try to reapply it throughout the day as for my skin tone I'm going to show you what it looks like on my skin tone so if you're still interested in it this will give you like an informed decision we're going to move on to the relief sun aqua fresh that has rice and b5 so one of the things that I noticed about their sunscreen is that they have rice extracts and rice seed water in them and that's because in korean culture rice is such a big staple not just only as food but also as skincare and they use it in actually combating dryness in your skin so it has such rich properties like vitamin c vitamin e amino acids and so many minerals that actually benefit your skin in the long run so that's why you see that most of their sunscreen uh, have rice to it so the new relief sun aqua fresh has rice and b5 b5 is a really good ingredient that actually help lock in moisture and then again rice that i mentioned earlier on helps with combating dry skin now the relief aqua fresh is great if you have oily skin because it has such a nice texture it blends out into your skin perfectly well and it doesn't have any white cast that is one of the beautiful things that i love about it it's also really lightweight so you literally feel it just melting into your skin so enough of me rambling and enough of me chatting about this sunscreen i'm going to jump into showing you what that looks like on my skin i also forgot to mention how much it retails for if you go on the beauty of joseph's uh, um, website you would see it retail for 25 dollars it didn't state the dollars that it would retail for so I'm guessing that this might be USD however in the description I will leave links so that you can shop it whether you're in Canada or in the US or wherever you're watching this video from but yes enough of me chatting let's jump right into this sunscreen so I'm gonna give it a good shake as I always do with all my sunscreens and I'm gonna start off with the relief sun rice plus probiotics again it has such a rich rich creamy texture i don't know if you can see any blue tone in it but it's slowly picking up and this is just at the back of my hand now i'm gonna apply it on this side of my face so you can see what that looks like and i'm gonna come closer You can see the blue tone that I was talking about but if you just sit with this sunscreen for a little bit it actually does disappear and and you won't even notice that it has a blue tone again this is only because it's my complexion and probably with somebody with a lighter complexion this won't even pick up as much but if you have a darker complexion than mine this will definitely pick up on your skin as i mentioned people had said that you know based on reapplying they got to see more of the blue tone but just working it into my skin you guys can see how easy that blends in you won't even notice it compared to some sunscreens that i've used that like the blue tone be giving avatar like this blends really nice and I do love the texture love the consistency it's not difficult to work into your skin with some of these other sunscreens that leave that blue tone you're like 
working your arms off and I'm just like, I'm not going to the gym. Why am I struggling so much with your sunscreen? But this blends really well, absorbs into the skin really well, has a nice dewy finish and it's not oily or greasy. So this works perfectly well for me. And it would work really well if you were using this under your makeup. So if you probably purchased it and you're thinking, oh my God, I don't want to use this anymore. Still apply it and then just use it underneath your makeup and you're good to go. Doesn't look too bad. Like I don't think you can see like the blue tone or anything just looking at me and me looking in the viewfinder. Um, I'm now going to move on to the Relief Sun Aqua Fresh and try it out. It does have a different nozzle compared to the previous one, but let's try it out. Just gonna clean my hands a little bit because I don't want like any transfer from the previous one. And I'm gonna come closer so you can see what that looks like on my skin. Can you see how that just blended like in 2.5 seconds? It is so lightweight. The texture feels amazing. It blends like a dream, zero blue tone. So you're not picking up any of that blue tone that you would have seen with the previous um, sunscreen. Blends perfectly well. And one of the things that I would say about both of them is that it doesn't sting the eyes. If you've noticed, I was applying it on my eyes just to see if it would sting none of that and so this is such an amazing sunscreen the finish is also great so this is my face with the rice and probiotics on this side and the aqua fresh on this side what i'm going to do is leave it for about 10 minutes just so that it sits into my skin really well and come and show you guys what that looks like so this is my face after 10 minutes of having both sunscreens on on this side i have the rice and probiotics and on this side i have the aqua fresh both are amazing sunscreens in my opinion, but I'll let you guys be the judge of that. So I'm just gonna sit here for a second so you can see what they both look like without me talking. So I think both of them settled into my skin really nicely. And like I mentioned with the rice and probiotics, it might be a little bit of a concern with somebody with a darker complexion. But if you're worried about that, then the Aqua Fresh is absolutely amazing. So definitely check either of them out. Again, this is suitable for dry and combination skin. And if you're an oily skin girly, then the Aqua Fresh is definitely something that you wanna check out. I personally love both of them and I'm going to be using them like, you know, in my skincare routine on rotation, depending on how I feel on those days. And mainly underneath my makeup, I'll probably reach out for this one. And for the days that I just feel like I just want my skin to be bare, then I'm going to reach out for this one. But if you haven't tried the beauty of Josen sunscreens, Hope this video helped you make a decision on which of them you'll be picking up. I would love to know which of these sunscreens you'll be adding to cart. Again, I will be leaving links so that you can shop them, whether you're in Canada or in the US or wherever you're watching this video from. And once again, if you're not subscribed to my channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, and I will see you guys in my next one.